With your CIG TV news update, I'm Jay Earhart in for Donna Bush. In our top story, the Community Affairs Minister, the Honorable Osborne Bodden, joined a group of businessmen and toured the Black Pearl Skate Park yesterday. Skateboard Association Chairman Michael Miles showed Mr. Bodden and other guests around the park among the improvements on display, which are lighting, which is sponsored by the government and the private sector, and that has allowed the Black Pearl to offer extended opening hours. And there are a lot of kids, three, four hurry kids come here and use this place. And it's becoming more multi-purpose. You have, we had demonstrations by some of the kids who skate and, and bike. But then we're also putting in basketball hoops and other things that will attract uh, youngsters here. So all in all, it's a very positive experience. It's, uh, it's something that we need in a community where a lot of youth can come together for the right reasons and improve their social skills. It has to be well managed because we don't, you know, you got, you're dealing with young people, so parents have to throw in their support. But all in all, I think Michael is right on track with it and it, it's looking like it's, we're about to bring Pepsi on board or Moncton Jew through, through David Dibben and his group. If they come on board, and, and I think they are coming on board, then the sky is the limit because, you know, that kind of sponsorship package means a lot to, to, to what uh, he's trying to do here and the place will be dressed up that much nicer. Mr. Miles explained that the association has more plans for the park. It's also about community development. It's about ensuring that children have a safe place to go. And it's ensuring that people here are able to supervise them and provide good quality fun. We're transitioning the park from just a regular skate park to a multi-purpose facility that we are now offering multiple sports, multiple activities. We now offer chess on Saturdays. We offer, um, we're now offering basketball just you know, as an activity, it's not organized, but if a child wants to play basketball and hang out, they can now do that here. Um, chess, the Chess Association has, has, has come aboard. Um, you, uh, we are hopefully going to be trying to get a long-term sponsor, and once that happens, you know, we are also going to be having more and more competitions. The Skateboard Association took over management of the Black Pearl Skate Park three years ago. And if you need more information, check out their page on Facebook, facebook.com. Black Pearl came in. In other news, the National Gallery continues to host public education events surrounding an ongoing exhibition that celebrates carnival in the Caribbean. The International Travel Exhibition, En Mass, looks at performance that takes place in the streets rather than on stage or in galleries. Upcoming events include a Cayman Arts Festival music performance on Wednesday the 24th, a late night opening for Red Sky at Night on the Saturday the 27th, and a special lecture on the history of Carnival at the end of March. The National Gallery's assistant curator, Carrie Ann Chisholm, detailed some of the opportunities which exist for public education. So with this exhibition, we have um, a few events surrounding it. Um, we have particularly a late night on the 11th of March that's coming up um, from 5 o'clock to 10 p.m. So that's where the gallery will be opening after hours, so you can come down and view it. Um, and we've had quite a few student tours and um, class, uh, school classes come down. So we're inviting teachers and schools to get involved and um, come down and learn more um, about performance art in the Caribbean and how we can use Carnival as a platform to talk about um, different topics in our community. And Mass Carnival and Performance Art of the Caribbean continues at the National Gallery through the 19th of March. And if you need more information, check out their webpage, nationalgallery.org.ky. Elsewhere, the DG's 5K organizers are already making progress with their fundraising towards the purchase of a new spare ambulance. Yet they hope that everyone in the local business will find it in their heart to sponsor the event. More money raised in this fashion will go towards the $50,000 target for this year's challenge. Cayman Heart Fund is running the ambulance appeal and has been raising money since last summer for the final goal of $150,000 for the vehicle while corporate sponsorships are filling up, organizing committee co-chair Jennifer A. Hearn notes that some notable opportunities remain. Three of our gold sponsors have come back on board again this year. We're very excited. We have EY, Appleby and Butterfield who have come back on to support at the gold sponsorship level. We do have one space left for another gold sponsor who if anybody's interested in coming on board. And this year we have a new category called Platinum Sponsor which is obviously a higher category than the gold. Uh, the sponsor will have a much more prominent position on the DG5K Challenge t-shirt, as well as with some of the other promotions. 
We are also looking for bronze sponsors. We have a few silver sponsors left. And we're also looking for donations for gifts and prizes. If you want to get on board as a sponsor, you can email supportdg5k at gov.ky. A bronze sponsorship is $500, for which there are unlimited opportunities. A few silver sponsorships remain, and that's $2,500. One gold sponsorship remains, that's available for $5,000. Meanwhile, the platinum sponsorship will cost the business about $15,000. Finally, there's just over a week to go before the Cayman National Cultural Foundation's Red Sky at Night and the international performer Dana Leong, also known as One-Eyed Orange, released a brief YouTube clip ahead of his performance at the festival. Yo, what's up everybody, Dana Leong here. We are completing a U.S. and Cayman Islands tour. We cannot wait to get out of the cold and bring some of this fire right here to the Cayman Islands to the Red Sky at Night Festival. We'll see you there. To find out what other acts will be performing on the grounds of the Hark Rail Theater next Saturday, make sure you visit the website artscayman.org. Well, and as always, if you missed today's news update, you can catch all of these updates on our YouTube and Facebook pages. And don't forget to tune into Radio Caymans for the record and talk today's shows, which are always packed with exciting guests. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.